Charles Haywood Barker was born in Pickens County, South Carolina on April 12, 1935. By the age of 18, his bravery and his selfless act of heroism in the Korean War would earn him our nation's highest military decoration. Barker grew up in Six Mile, South Carolina with his three brothers and five sisters. He was employed as a textile worker in nearby Pickens and spent much of his free time hunting small game. And then he decided he'd join the Army. And when he was 17 years old, he joined the Army. Mom and Daddy had to sign for him to get in. They didn't like it, but that's, that was his choice. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to go fight for our country. After basic training, he was assigned to the 7th Infantry Division, Company K, of the 17th Infantry Regiment. He served as an automatic rifleman in one of the most challenging and well-known battles of the Korean War. On June 4, 1953, Barker and his platoon were on a combat patrol outside the Porkchop outpost when they came across a group of Chinese soldiers digging emplacements. They had out on maneuvers and they got cut off. And my brother took the ammunition and the guns and charged them and laid down a line of fire. And I believe it was eight people got safety back to the boot camp, get back to the camp where they was camped at. And so he looked back, and last time he saw him, he was hand to hand combat with the, with the enemy. It was this heroic act of conspicuous gallantry and indomitable courage, above and beyond the call of duty, that earned Charles Haywood Barker the Medal of Honor. He fought to the end and went to his final rest as a soldier. It really makes us proud. It's sad that he had to give his life, but still, it's, it's an honor to have a brother that would do that. i just like to say I'm proud of him, proud to be his sister. On June 4, 1954, Charles Barker was posthumously promoted to private first class. His parents, Mr. and Mrs. Norvin Barker, formally accepted their son's posthumous Medal of Honor on June 13, 1955. Charles H. Barker's remains were never recovered. His name is inscribed on the Wall of the Missing at the National Memorial of the Pacific in Honolulu, Hawaii.